Welcome to our playoff edition of Friday Night Lights here on NBC3. Good evening. I'm Nico Tamuri, and all of our local football teams need to win tonight. The definition of a must-win game. A victory delivers them to the Section 3 championship in the Carrier Dome, no less. A loss, however, ends the dream. Let's head out to Chittenango, where East Syracuse Manoa taking on Whitesboro. Of course, ESM, my alma mater, proud to say that tonight. Because look at this. The Spartans down by six in the first. Brandon Breen, check out the arm. Perfectly placed pass. Deshaun Corbin, he knows what to do. 55-yard touchdown pass. ESM on the board. They're up 7-6. They don't hold it for long here. Ensuing kickoff. Look at the return. Josh Zaleski brings that right back. 87-yard return. Now, ESM able to mount a comeback after this. Listen to this. Whitesboro is up 35-10 at the half. ESM scores 28 unanswered, and they're off to the championship in heroic fashion, 38-35, the final over Whitesboro. Now, earlier tonight, same field, Herkimer players holding up four fingers as they head into the fourth quarter of this game. Herkimer taking on Jordan Elbridge in this one. Of course, in Class C, tight five-point lead. Not for long, though. Mitchell Scherer, 30, calls his own number right there. Gets some great blocking as well. No one touches him on his way to the end zone. That's his fifth of the night. It'll put the Magicians up 34-21 after a two-point conversion. Jordan Elbridge trying to hang in there. They put this one on the ground. A turnover right here. Herkimer, Scherer, and crew will make him pay for it. Herkimer wins 42-27. Our team never lets up. We're, that's the team we are. We never let up. This team has great character. We knew it was going to be tough. They came back a little bit, and then we were like, all right, let's go. This is go time. So then we exploded. We went off as a team. Herkimer competing for their fourth sectional title in a row at the Dome next week. Well, it's time now for our Toyota High School Game of the Week. It may be tomorrow, but Kelly Cowan standing by to get us up to date. Well, Nico, we'll have to wait until Saturday for this week's Toyota High School Game of the Week, but the matchup between longtime rivals Liverpool and Baldwinsville make this one well worth the wait. Liverpool enters the Class AA semifinal a perfect 8-0 on the season, and they'll come head-to-head -head with the nearby boys of Baldwinsville, each team's offense, led by a star running back, two of the best in the area. Beville's Cameron Skipworth has already rushed for over 1,600 yards this season and 20 touchdowns. Meanwhile, the Warriors' Jadakus Scott, who had to miss the first two games of the season, he's put up 20 touchdowns as well in just six games. I'm looking forward to that big time. Um, handing the ball to Jadakus and watching him do his thing and being on the sideline during the defense and watching us hopefully shut down Skipworth, who is a hell of a back. It's going to be a good week. I expect, uh, for lack of a better word, a barroom brawl. I think it's going to be a great game. Uh, you know, you've got two good teams squaring off. Uh, there's a bit of a rivalry there. You know, Liverpool and Baldwinsville are proximity to each other. And uh, I, I know the Liverpool kids are up for it. They have a great football team. And our kids are up for it. I think it's just going to be a great high school football game. Should be one of the best ground battles we'll see all season as Liverpool and Beeville meet for our Toyota High School Football Game of the Week tomorrow at CNS. 3 p.m. is your kickoff. Nico? Thank you very much, Kelly. We cannot wait for that one. Now in Class D tonight, we had Cato Meridian taking... ...that the sixth seed out of eight teams is Utica Notre Dame, and they've only lost once all year. General Brown learning that the hard way tonight. Kevin Warmack, unbelievable tonight. 52-yard scamper there. Jugglers up 18-6 after that. General Brown stays in it the entire way, but a promising drive right here ends when Nick Sullivan comes away with the interception, and that would set the stage for more Warmack. How about this? Fourth and 16 from the 26. Hey, no problem. He's going to run for this, too. Warmack runs it and gets past the six. How about this? Eight touchdowns. Yes, eight touchdowns for Kevin Warmack. That ties Mike Hart from 2003. Here's another one in the second quarter. And by the way, Utica Notre Dame needed all eight touchdowns because they edge General Brown 46-40. So Notre Dame meets the only team it lost to this season, Herkimer, for the Class C Championship. Well, hey, coming up, it is not all about football tonight. We have two new Section 3 girls soccer champions tonight. We'll let you know which schools come out with the titles when we come back. Welcome back to Friday Night Lights here on NBC3. One quick correction before we get into the soccer games here. Utica Notre Dame won 52-40 over General Brown. Coach Steele bringing up my math there. Warmack with eight touchdowns, 46 wouldn't have been enough points. He does tie Mike Hart's record for most touchdowns in one game in Section 3. Now, off to soccer, Central New York. You've got some new champions tonight, and while the football playoffs rage on in the Final Four of each class, some of our local girls teams tonight 
our crown champions. Now you gotta hand it to Brady. That's the ball boy right here. He is missing out on trick-or-treating to volunteer at this game. So we had to put him on TV, right? How about this? No score in the first half between CNS and Liverpool. Megan O'Neill kicks it in. one nothing Liverpool at that point. Now, just a few minutes later, Aria Roses. Look at this. Gets in front of everybody. That's a great play. Getting the goalie out of the box there and taking advantage. Does a little dance to boot there, so it's the equalizer at 1-1. However, O'Neill scores one more goal in the second half, and that is the difference. Liverpool celebrates as the final seconds tick off. They win the Class AA title 2-1. to one. And I'm so happy for the seniors and obviously the, the young players that we have right now. It's just such great experience and I think they're just, you know, just so thrilled to win it. And, you know, we talked all week long. We believed in ourselves and, you know, to see it pay off, hard work, it's just it's tremendous. So. Battle. It was a battle going back and forth and trying to knock the ball on there and keeping it down there, wasting as much time as possible. <laughs> A lot of screaming here, folks. A raucous crowd on hand just a few feet away from that CNS Liverpool game. It's the Class B title game. Lowville, the top seed in West Hill, late in the first half, no score. But look at West Hill. They get the corner kick. Tatiana Mondi heads it in right there. She scores 1 0 Warriors. Lowville gets a couple tries late in the second half. But the one goal he showed you from Tatiana is the difference. West Hill, now the Section 3 Class B champions. Of course, the best plays from all these high school games. You can catch them on the sports page of our website, cnycentral.com including the raw video. Everything our cameras captured, you can catch it at our website. Now, can you believe it, Syracuse? That hockey game in the Carrier Dome between the Syracuse Crunch and Utica Commons three weeks from tomorrow. And it's fitting that the Crunch plays its newest rival in that game, Utica, and it takes on tonight its Oldham's rival, the Rochester Americans. Now the crunch getting into that Halloween spirit as well. We have a taco and Batman shoveling off the excess snow off the ice. And how about this? Crunch captain Mike Angelinas, no disguise here, doing what he does best, defending his team like only the captain can. Look at Angelinas, throws his guy to the ice too. I know Wayne's excited about that one in the weather center too. Unfortunately, he gave me the fist bump there. Any momentum from that, unfortunately, uh, goes right away. Rochester scores three goals, including the way too easy breakaway here from Jerome LeDuc. And Rochester wins 3-0. And, of course, we are very proud to be the official TV sponsor of the Frozen Dome Classic. It is the Crunch versus Utica, as I mentioned, Saturday, November 22nd. We can't wait to bring you that game. And we don't want you to go anywhere because we're going back into high school. Head coach Paul Seeley joins me next. Welcome back to Friday Night Lights. You know him, you love him, and well, it'll be the last time you see him on our airwaves until <laughs> next football season because we're going to wrap up Friday Night Lights here. Paul Steely, thanks for joining hey, us. Hey, thanks. It's been a great run. What a great season. We've had a lot of great games, and it's, and it's all coming down to showtime now, ending next week in the Carrier Dome for the championship. And before we get to that, we've got some great games tomorrow. Which one kind of stands out to you for tomorrow? Well, I think the Liverpool Bevo, that, that's a really e even match. Uh, two great running teams, probably not going to be a lot of passing. But yet, you know, sometimes uh, if you throw the ball a little bit when you need to, it could be the difference of the game. And how about tonight? We had East Syracuse Manoa down 25 in the second half. They looked like the Buffalo Bills against the Houston Oilers 20 years ago. Well, you're down, you know, a lot. I mean, you, it would have been easy to fold up the tents and go home. But yeah. uh, Bill Clunan, offensive coordinator for the Spartans, were dialing up plays late, and the kids were performing. Uh, you know, ESM Weisboro uh, has always been a big clash, a big rivalry. So a big comeback for the Spartans next week against Indian River, and uh, that's going to be a great matchup next Friday night. Absolutely. Hats off to Kevin DePart and Mike Ashbacher as well. Sure. Coach, we've got 20 seconds left in the show. I want your quick prediction. SU, <laughs> North Carolina State. Uh, it's going to be Syracuse by a couple. North yeah. Carolina State's good. You've got to contain the quarterback, but that's our specialty. Defense is great. Offense hopefully will come alive, put some points on the board. Go Orange. I love it, Coach Sealy. Happy, happy Halloween for everybody. Thank you. For you Kelly too. Cowan, Coach Sealy, we'll see you next year on Friday Night Lights.